Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bianca. Today I am making this Dollar Tree pumpkin patch basket. I hope you all enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm gonna be using just the old sign from Dollar Tree. So many different signs there to use. So I'm gonna turn around on the back. And I previously was gonna use it for a different DIY a long time ago. Um, so you might see like some writing on the back, but I'm gonna use it like this. And of course I'm gonna paint it. And what I'm also gonna do is add this basket to it. And I just have some flor Dollar Tree floral foam in there. And what I'm gonna do is I need to paint this too because I don't want it to be blue. Before gluing the, these two together like this, I need to paint both of them. So I'm gonna be using this lightweight spackle from the Dollar Tree to cover up these two holes once I remove this string. There's gonna be two holes right there. Um, I just mixed it with, with my finger. So I'm gonna remove them and cover them up. And it actually dries pretty fast to where I can go ahead and paint. So I probably won't have to wait that long. Maybe like, um, if I had to guess, maybe about 20 minutes maybe or less. Okay, so while the spackle is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the basket with this Territorial Beige. I think this is gonna be a really pretty color on this. This basket is already really pretty with the blue color, but I just think for this fall decor look that I'm going for, I'm, I wanna use this. So I did put one coat already and now what I'm trying to do is just kind of dab. Of course this would be better probably to use spray paint but and I do have some some beige spray paint but I want to get this video out to you guys at least tonight or tomorrow and spray paint just takes so so long to dry like every time I do it it takes forever. And I know it always depends on the environment you're in or the humidity, how hot it is, how cold it is. Um, so it just always takes forever. That's why I'm using this. And this uh, chalk paint or this apple barrel paint, it just dries so fast. So I like to use this. So I'm drying that little basket and I'm probably gonna have to apply another like coat or two. I'm just making sure I let it dry really good. So I'm just gonna lightly sand it. You don't have to do it too hard because that spackle is not completely dry. For it to be completely dry to where it's hard, kind of like cement, it takes like a full day. So since it's only been about 20 minutes, maybe 30, So now it's flat and now we can paint it. So first I'm gonna start off by covering this whole thing with this linen white chalk paint to give me a good base. Okay, so one good coat and then we'll let it dry. I am going to take some of this Jacobean stain and it is linked below in my Amazon store if you wanna buy it. It's and it lasts for a really long time. So I'm gonna start just going over it like this. 
give it some color. So you can just keep going over it as many times as you want, depending on the look you're going for. So on this other side, uh, you can see they did like a shiplap look. So that's what I'm gonna do on this side. I am gonna make it look like there's three pieces of wood together. So I'm just taking a ruler, a Dollar Tree ruler, and a permanent marker. Okay, so now I am going to add these poster stickers and I'm gonna spell out pumpkins at the top. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree ruler to help me out with that so I can kind of get it somewhat straight. Okay, and then I have these wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use one of the arrows to put underneath. Dollar Tree has these small little pumpkins. They're stickers. I was gonna stencil on a little pumpkin right here and then I realized I had these. So I'm gonna take off the sticker. I am going to glue this in the middle. To put this basket together with the sign, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this onto the bottom. And for video purposes, I'm just gonna use hot glue, but it would be better to use some E6000 as well. I'm gonna create some bows with this Dollar Tree twine and add it right here where these holes are at.
I'm gonna put this Dollar Tree floral foam inside. And I know you can still see the blue, so I'm going to add this floral moss from Dollar Tree. Cover all of that blue down there. Trying to cover all the sides, all at the bottom, so you don't see the floral foam either. I was looking for the Spanish moss instead because it doesn't get the way this is. You see how it's all over. But I'm trying to loosen it and spread it out so it, it just covers up more space. And then I'm going to add some pumpkins that I've just been having for a while. If you've seen my recent videos, then you have seen these. The last thing I'm going to do is just add, you see how I have these little Dollar Tree pumpkins, it's just stickers. I'm going to add these two different shapes right here on the sides. And I'm going to leave them that wood color because I like that. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, this is just an idea of what you can do depending on what colors you like and paint this differently. But I hope I inspired you to create inexpensive decor from the Dollar Tree and hopefully you can give something like this a try. I'll see you guys in the next video.